going on, dudes? My name is Arthur and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses Golden Deer. In the last episode, we did Marianne's Paralogue and got the treasure that Rhea left for us in the monastery, or well, in the Holy Tomb, actually. So, yeah, in this episode, we're going to be exploring the monastery. I'm going to do the stuff around here, and then we're going to do the next actual battle, which is uh, the, the chapter Rose Colored River. So, yeah. It looks like people are slowly starting to come back to the town. I guess they feel safe now that you and the Knights of Saros have returned. Peddlers have become more common too, so there'll be food and supplies available. After being run down for all those years, it's really becoming livable again. Thanks to all that food from Judith, I'm full for once. I've got so much energy. Let me at that great bridge of Murden. I'll bust it down myself. Oh, but then how do we cross? Things have gotten a lot more interesting since we joined up with Judith, haven't they? Anyone who casually treats Claude like he's just some kid is not a person to be trifled with. <laughs> I think Captain Gerald would have liked her. I hope someday I can be as strong, kind, and level-headed as her. So, that was Judith. Just as I'd heard of her, she was an upstanding person. The same Daphnal blood runs through my veins, and yet I feel as though I am nothing like her. I am but a phantom of what could be. You're actually quite alike. You think so? Wow, thank you. I don't know where he recruited that man, but Claude's got an eye for great talent. I'm talking about his retainer, Nardell. I haven't met him yet. I've only spoken with him briefly, but he seems to have a fair amount of both brains and brawn, with the skills to match. But there's something about him I can't quite place, like I've somehow heard of him before. Wait, to see that und undefeated Elmire in general, we defeated it some random... Was it a paralogue or was it an actual mission? I think it was in Black Eagles. Maybe that's who, who it is. I could be wrong, but I don't remember. If our plan succeeds, we'll arrive at the Great Bridge of Murden unscathed. The important part is what happens next. We're evenly matched in terms of military power, more or less. So if we can just launch a surprise attack... We have the advantage. I wouldn't be so sure. That bridge is almost like a fortress. The defense there is rock solid. But that's why you're here, Teach. No matter the odds, you're the wild card we need to win. I mean, you're not wrong, but I was talking about if we managed the surprise attack, we'd have the advantage. I'd heard of the hero of Daphnel, but that was the first time I've met her in person. She's the head of a prestigious noble family? Just like Claude. The Alliance nobility is so... Odd. Giving the kingdom an empire? Kind of, but I don't mean that in a bad way. You won't find such big hearted nobles elsewhere. Plus, Judith can drink with the best of them. A woman after my own heart. What used to be Iyer territory lies far to the east of the Great Bridge of Murden, downstream of the Aramid River. For the sake of my family, I wish we could invade the empire from there. But I do not have the power to advocate for that. Strategically, Murden is more important. Someday we'll take it back. Thank you, Professor. I will not give in. Not until I have restored my noble pride. Who am I closest with, actually? Felix! That's a little surprising. Professor, since I'm originally from the Empire, it seems no one trusts me with any important tasks. Fine by me. Honestly, I bet they're watching my every move to make sure I can be trusted. Probably. I knew it. War makes people crazy, huh? You're still one of my most valuable units. Having a second physic user that is high level is very helpful. <sighs> I would like to believe that I've always made my own decisions. Even so, I cannot deny that some small part of me has always been aware of my father's wishes. Now here I am, concealing our plan. Claude's plan from his sight. You're not reluctant, though, are you? Quite the contrary, honestly. I feel as though a fog has finally lifted from my eyes. In this fight, I will finally stand upon my own two feet, independent of my father's influence. Good on you. Judith is a wonderful person. So strong and confident as well. Looking upon her, I am sharply reminded of my mother. Does she act similar? Very much so. Both brilliantly bright and positive, 
like a warm ray of light. I lost my mother long ago. I miss her desperately. We can predict what the Empire will do. Fargus is our real problem. The Eastern Lords have joined forces and are warring with the Dukedom. But I've heard nothing about that conflict as of late. It's strange. I haven't heard much from my father either. I can't help but find this silence unsettling. The Great Bridge of Murden isn't just a bridge. It has the features of a fortress. I believe it was built for military purposes by the first leader of the Adrestian Empire. In other words, it's even older than the monastery. So if we occupy the Great Bridge, we'll have to search it from top to bottom. All right, let's do our gardening. So we'll harvest. Yeah. I need to plant some vegetable seeds because I need carrots, but I didn't plant any. <laughs> um, because in order to complete that the thing for Hilda, I need a carrot because I have a Verona, and I ended up getting a Verona from the Holy Tomb as well. All right, we're going to do the advanced bow tournament, and I want to compare Claude and... Oh my god, Claude is level 36! I forgot! Man, you're absurd. 31 strength, 34 speed, that's absurd. What is uh, Felix's? 32 strength, 33 speed. Slightly slower, better strength. Uh, what about HP? We'll, we'll let Claude go, because he has slightly higher HP as well. So, let's give it a shot. Why not? Silver Bow Plus. Ooh. He takes a lot, though. That's kind of that's kind of ridiculous. Sorry, but I must. Alright, if you can survive the next one without a heal, that'd be good. Alright. We're all desperate, aren't we? Alright, well done. Well done. Maybe Felix would have had... I don't know if Felix has higher defense, though. If I'm being totally honest. Probably not. Too easy. Oh, we dodged! Let's go, Claude! And and Beautiful! A boy! Okay. Ooh, you do 28. Well, that's okay. We can handle it. A fitting outcome. And a heal should theoretically get him out to full health, and yes, indeed. And Claude's got this. Let's go. It all works out. Too easy. <laughs> Claude dodges anyway. <laughs> Perfect. No damage. I fought and won. Yes, you did. You fought and you won the entire tournament. Not just the that fight, but. Do 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 do. Nice. All right, we have several supports to do here now. Um, before we finish, I'm gonna go do, go find the one I have with Mercedes. Um, and we'll do that, and then I'll end free time, and I'll do another exploring day, and try to get all the supports knocked out at once. All right, Mercedes. I don't know what support if this is our B or A support. Probably A support at this point in the game. Do you have a moment, Professor? I need to speak with you. Thank you so much. This is what I wanted to address. This letter from my adoptive father just arrived. Adoptive father? Oh, have I not mentioned him? He's the reason I first came to the Officer's Academy. He's also the one who dragged me from the church where I was living, just so he could use my crest. I don't understand. My crest does not yet belong to a house, so he plans to use it as leverage to marry into the nobility. He's a very greedy man who was a roving merchant before adopting me, but now he's in the capital. This letter says that he's finally arranged to marry me off to a wealthy noble. I know he's just thinking of himself, but can't he see that this isn't a priority when we're at war? My thoughts exactly. Uh, I don't know what to do about this proposal. Will you accept? I can't see any way around it, so I fear that I must. 
I just don't want to let go of the life that I've made for myself. I know it's not what my heart wants, but I don't have the strength to say no. Yes, you do have the strength. What is what does your heart want? I believe I've mentioned this before, but I want to work in service of the church. Well, I suppose it doesn't necessarily have to be the church, but I want to help those in need. If I were to marry a noble, I think it would be difficult to realize that dream. Why can't you decline? It's just... I've always allowed myself to follow the whims of those above me. I convinced myself that everything in life was at the will of the goddess. I was blind to reality. I believed it was her will to both pull me from the church and guide me to the officer's academy. The decision to enter this war was the first time I acted of my own free will. My adoptive father opposed this decision, but I somehow managed to convince him. Still, I couldn't free myself of him completely. This letter is proof of that. It's not that I'm scared of him, but there is something that worries me. Severing your ties? Ah, I knew you'd understand, Professor. I've sat down to write a reply several times, but I can't muster up the courage or the words. I was hoping you could provide me with the encouragement I need. You can't just give up on your dreams. That's a very good point. We're only given one life, so we must do all we can to pursue our happiness. Okay. I think that may have been just the push I was looking for. I'll tell him the truth. That I found a life worth pursuing, and I must decline the proposal. Maybe I should tell him I've fallen for someone else. <laughs> sure. Who might that be? Why, it's you, Professor. <laughs> Isn't that obvious? I wouldn't say obvious. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Now I'm off to write this letter and stand my ground. Thank you for your encouragement. Alright, uh, Linhart went up in reason. I think Sylvain also went up in reason. There must be more to this. It's good. Really getting it. I think. Nice. Oh, I unlocked sport with someone. Annette! Okay. Oh, hi, Professor. You look down. Do you remember what we talked about before? About doing my best to not do my best? Well, I've been pretty busy recently, and despite my best efforts, I've been trying way too hard. I was busy all day yesterday with training and work. I just couldn't help myself. That's why I decided to take a day off today. It's just, now that I have a day off, I don't know what to do with myself. Please, you have to help me. What should I do? Nothing. I can't relax if I'm doing nothing. I need something to keep me occupied or I'll go nuts. I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm cut out for not doing my best. Oh! You're a professor. You must know some secret technique for deep relaxation, right? If you do, please teach me. I'm begging you. I'm at my wit's end. Have a cup of tea. Got it. I'll try that right now. Mmm, this candy is so sweet and delicious. And it goes so well with piping hot tea. Oh, and speaking of the tea, your brewing skills are incredible. I'd love to be able to make such nice tea, but... Oh, Professor, will you teach me how to brew tea like this? I'll do my best to learn, and then I'll make delicious tea for you as thanks. Is this doing your best? Oh, uh, sorry. Back to my old tricks, it seems. So, oh, why is it so difficult to not do my best? I try and try to not try, but it just doesn't work. Just be yourself. Professor? 
You're right. Doing nothing is just not my style. To be myself, I've got to do my best every day. That's the spirit. Okay. Then you really must teach me how to make such delicious tea. You will, won't you? Please. Oh, and also, well, thank you. You've listened to me and helped me face my troubles. <laughs> now I feel like I can talk to you about anything. Honestly, I wish we could go on drinking tea like this forever. It was this support that actually made me decide to pick a net in Blue Lions. Alright. what success feels like? And it went up in faith. Yeah, I'm getting it. And Cyril went up in what? Authority. Cool. Alright, we're gonna do gardening now. I got a carrot. Cool, I can go complete that quest. I didn't pick the best <laughs> plants to put together. So that's fine. Alright, I need to buy some fishing bait. I think this one, yes. Because I need to do some fishing. I think this one, and then yes. from the other dude will need to buy some stuff. So I I'll just buy one, all yes. his bait, why not? I think this one, yes. I thank you. Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. Okay, I need to buy a good I'll buy like five poultry or something. A place you have a and then good like eye. five wild game or something. A pleasure doing business with you. Come again. Replenish the battalions. Farewell. Okay, we're done with free time now. Basically, I'm going to just... I unlock two more supports during doing the meals. So I'm going to be doing those. And then we're going to move on to the actual chapter. And I pr I'll probably do the rest of the supports in the next episode. Just because they're going to be... Uh, it's going to take a while. And I don't know exactly how long this episode will be. But I feel like we we'll, might be doing less in the next episode. I don't know if there's a paralogue or not, so we'll see. But first up is our sport with Sylvain. Ah, uh, that hurts. Ah, Professor. Thanks for stopping by. How's your injury? It's not bad. I was even told I'd be cleared for service starting tomorrow. Besides, I got this scar fighting for you. It's almost like a medal or something. Didn't you want to kill me? I certainly meant it when I said it, but when I thought you were going to be killed for real, my reflexes kicked in. I reacted without thinking. It doesn't mean I've stopped being jealous of you. But come on, I can't help but look up to you. If I'd had the guts to run away from home, I wonder if I would have cared as little about my crest as you do yours. You didn't have the courage? No, but if I thought I could have escaped, I would have tried. I'd leave behind House Gautier, and the life of a nobleman, and anybody who knew I had a crest. Our home is to the very north of the kingdom. Just across the mountains from us is land inhabited by foreigners to Fodlan. It once belonged to Fargus, but now that the kingdom has collapsed, it's only a matter of time until fighting breaks out. Anyway, that land has been contested for centuries, and all that time, it has fallen to House Gautier to protect it. Actually, our Lance of Ruin has been doing most of the protecting. I remember five years ago. Those were dangerous times. One wrong step, and we would have lost our relic to the church. My father was afraid that the church would try to keep the Lance, so he entrusted it to me. If an emergency arose, I was supposed to be called back home. I guess those very situations are why my family values crests so much. Since I bear a crest, my parents made sure I was never left wanting. My older brother didn't have one, and so when I was born, he was pushed aside. You know, he once shoved me in a well. He left me on the mountainside in the middle of winter, too. That's horrible. <sighs> Even as a little kid, I understood why he was like that. My mere existence stole everything from him. I have no right to complain when I am surrounded by people who would give anything to bear a crest, but do not. Now, women smile at me for the same reason my parents adore me, and my brother wanted me dead. And I have to meet them all with a smile and a wink, because I have a crest. So what you really feel towards women is apathy. 
The women who just want to use me to become nobility? Hatred's probably the right word. Though, in the end, that's just an easy answer. I don't even know how I truly feel about it all. Anyway, it was pretty unreasonable of me to resent you. I'm really sorry about that. And I want to say thank you, Professor. Seriously, thank you. For what? Before I met you, I'd gone my whole life not knowing there was another way for me to live. So, from the bottom of my heart, I'm glad we met. Me too, bud. Alright, here's the support with Flame. What's wrong? Oh, hello, Professor. How nice to see you. You caught me off guard. I was actually just thinking about you. Why the sigh? Just a moment ago? Well, I... I... I, I am afraid I just do not understand you. When we first met, I sensed something different about you. Something mysterious. And now I am convinced your existence itself is very special. Thinking on it, I know it to be true. You have a crest that should have been lost long ago. You wield the sword of the creator as if it is nothing. Your hair and eye color changed on that day five years ago. To the same sort of color as mine and my brother's. What does it all mean? I do not know. My brother refuses to speak to me of it. Since then, you have led us into battle and thus far, we have always come out victorious. Your comrades and colleagues adore you. They believe in you, in your strength. I doubt there is a single soul who is likened to you. Who are you, really? The progenitor god. I simply do not understand. Whatever the case may be, having hair like mine is proof that there is something exceptional about you. I may as well come forward with things. I, too, am unlike others. How so? Surely you recall when I was targeted, specifically for my blood? I may not be special in the ways you are, but my blood is rare. It seems the two of us share a special... differentness. I also believe that we are bound together in some way. Of this I am certain. Therefore, I intend to stay by your side and watch over you. Your existence must be preserved at all cost. I would rather protect you. Certainly those are the words of a hero. Let us unite our powers. Together, we are unstoppable. Sure, pocket healer. All right, we done with free time. The Great Bridge of Murden is in sight. Beyond it, the Empire. What do you know? There aren't bridges that big in Elmira, that's for sure. How unsettling. There are bridges in the southern part of Rodelia territory, but nothing like this. It's the most strategic location in that area to move a large army across the Aramid River. The Empire will want to hold on to it at all costs, so expect tough defenses. Let's finish this quickly. You're right. The enemy's guard should be down. So let's end this quickly before they have a chance to retaliate. You're in command, Teach. Do whatever it takes to win. Well, other than sacrificing the lives of our allies for the sake of victory, try to avoid that. True. Let's get moving. We're counting on you, my friend. I got you, man. Let's do it. God, Leonie's so close to Bone Knight, dude. Like, literally, she five more XP for her class, and she gets she maxes out Paladin. And uh, I don't know exactly what she gets for that, but I think that I'm gonna have her finish it out and then make her a Bone Knight because she's so close to that. Otherwise, Lysithia, and both actually Lysithia and uh, Leonie will be able to Master Seal after this next map or this next battle. So that's very good. All right, let's get to the mission. 
All right, the Great Bridge coup. After fending off the Empire, your forces decide it's time to advance. But first, you must capture the Great Bridge of Murden, a strategic crossing point over the Aramid River, which borders the Alliance and the Empire. Let's do it. Sight said on the Imperial capital, the Alliance army chooses to march through the territory of House Gloucester, supporters of the Empire. Under the command of Nardell, the retainer of House Regan, the defensive forces of Houses Regan and Daphnel draw out the Gloucester troops. Thus, the Alliance army can continue its march toward the Great Bridge of Murden and cross the Aramid River, which separates the Alliance and the Empire. I was I was right about Nardell. <laughs> the Great Bridge Coup, Verdant Wind, Chapter 16, The Rose-Colored River. All right, straight into it. No talking beforehand. All right, this is the squad we're gonna go into battle with. We're gonna have our two healers, of course. Uh, Lawrence is Leonie's adjutant, uh, adjutant, or a adjutant. I still don't know. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, Ingrid is Ignatz's, I believe, and then Annette is Lysithia's. No, Felix's. I just looked it up, and apparently, I can actually purchase the smithing stones from the merchants, which I didn't, I guess, realize when I was looking at them earlier. So that's great. Um, Ignatz has some slightly damaged bows. I think I'll give him, for now, an, a normal iron bow and another steel bow, because uh, I don't really have smithing stones to spare right now, so we'll go with that. We should otherwise be good. Everyone else's durability is, is well, I guess Raphael's. Do I have gauntlets to replace yours? Yeah, you can have mine. Perfect. Okay, let's get let's get going here. So we gotta defeat all enemy commanders and defeat as everybody falls. That symbol. It's an enemy raid. Stay calm and face them head on. Send a messenger to Acheron immediately. If we're quick, we might be able to pull off a pincer attack. They say the enemy general, Ladislava, is among Edelgard's most trusted. Let's see what she's got. Cool. Our goal is to take down Ladislava and gain control of the bridge. Let's go. Yes, sir. At the ready. All right, what is that, Archer? I mean, I if, if, if anyone, I'm confident in you to be able to take it because you do have like 20 defense. Which is amongst the highest. Dad thought he had more defense. At something. I don't know. I I think that... Yeah. Wow, you have 21 defense? Nice. Okay. Yeah, so he... Right. So, Leone's still the bulkiest. Alright, I want to bring you here. And I want to equip your bow. I want to force them to start Leave moving. And we'll move him down here. Shall we'll move we? some other units near him. Wait, are you not? Oh, you can't reach Raphael now. You're just going to go for him. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I can only attack you if you're not, which makes sense, I suppose. I could, I could ashes and death those guys. That'd be sick. What's my strategy? I'll move up. Actually, you're gonna go for me now. Okay. I'll quit my, the iron bow and. Or my my bow and prepare. We're gonna get Claude moving. Get him on his horse, more or less. Steady now. I'll have you hang out there. I'll cut through. Well, Felix, plan to go down here with this group. Let's make this quick. I'm awake. Yeah, and we'll kind of split up. We'll have Marianne prepare to 
go with these guys, and I will basically have Lysithia go which way she she's needed. come from behind and hit it with the next <laughs> I thought does it need the XP or anything but why not oh that's funny okay um, Raphael can you take out this guy down here yeah and you dodge very good no chance hold on boy kick freaking booty And Hilda takes Never out the guy with the bow. With the bow, well, he ta she takes out the bow guy, not with the bow, but yes. Cool. Have you move up? Be prepared. All right. So if I, yeah, you don't. All right. What if I hit you with magic instead? I do a decent amount. Let's go thunder. <laughs> I got the crit. I was hoping I would. I got two crits in a row. It won't be in vain. Let's go. You're relentless. Yeah. What would you what you expect? Whoops, I hit B on accident. At least the animation was already over. <laughs> Alright, let's go for Yeah. <laughs> okay, steel bow finish. You didn't need the crit, but I very much appreciated it, Ignatz. I wasn't about to let you go. I wasn't about to let you go. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one. Hey, look at you. Hey, look at you. I like that. Let's go. Let's go. Kick S, everybody. We're awesome. Okay. I want to equip the Iron Lance, because she's going to be doing more with the Lance. She, I could probably have her equip the Steel Lance. And I guess it doesn't matter anyway, because I think you're just going to get nuked by the tactical nuke. Not I think you are. You're getting nuked. No the tactical nuke there. is uh, taking charge. So you're dead. Wrecked. Okay. So far, so good. Shouldn't count chickens for the hash, because we still got a long ways to go. What? We're okay for now. You, or me. you think we'll let you take this bridge from us? Let's use a different Whoa. story. New enemies from the central fortress? By the looks of it, that might not be all of them. Sure. <laughs> it is time for Claude to hold the bridge. <laughs> Looks like we can capture this fortress quickly if we take out the soldiers protecting it. Yes, sir. Enemies approaching. Get the soldiers standing by to join the fight. We may need to hurry up preparations of the ballista, too. Protect the fortress. I mean, you're literally going to lose the ballista. So, your ballista is now mine. You got yourself killed. Actually, I don't think that's... It. Yeah, that's not even the ballista. I don't know where the fuck the ballista is. Who cares? It's fine. Alright. How much damage can we do here? Ooh. Alright. Yep. 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 I'm okay with that. Beautiful. Would have preferred a crit on one of the other hits. But I'll take it. Okay. Ignatz, you can move on down. Alright, you come here. You can physic up Hilda for us. I'm gonna warp. Uh, let's warp Hilda. Bring Hilda here. Let her take out this, this dude here. She can go all the way around. Alright. I kind of want you to take out this guy. Can't afford to slack off. We move 
move back a step. I'm gonna have Felix come on down. We'll take. We'll have that guy take the attack. Oh, you're gonna go for Raphael now. I don't know if that's really your best best bet. If I'm gonna be totally honest. And there they are. Acheron, now's the time to show your loyalty to the Empire. Attack the enemy from behind. I've got to make my name known to Her Majesty through distinguished service. Acheron the Wettervane. He's of the Alliance. He's a minor noble who holds territory to the north of Murden. If he's gonna support the Empire, no need to hold back. He's nothing but a nuisance, even to the Alliance. True. Alright. Okay. Sorry, it's gotta be like this. I think we've captured this base now since we've taken out like all the enemies Got around it. it. Yep. Okay. Ah, oh, Venon! God dang it, dude! Obliterate him, Caleb. As they say, if you can't beat them, join them. I'm not in for a beating, am I? Of course you are. I never should have aligned with the Empire. Cool. I'm up to level 35. I'm stronger than. Ooh, before. that was actually a pretty damn good level up. Mega lie. No longer strength screwed. And I don't double you. That stinks. Oh gosh. Elgato, please don't crash on me. Holy. I'm gonna stop this recording now. Okay, hopefully things will be fine. Down, down, up, up. Okay. Quit the recording for like half a sec just because I needed to make sure I didn't freaking lose uh, everything. So, now let me see. I might be able to make this so I could take out both of these guys. These, these bottom two. Nice. Kick ass. Yes, you did, Marianne. Well done. You're in good form. Okay. Now, can you still get that guy? Let's go. You're so freaking good. That thirst us, dude. You must press and, on. Oh, well, now she... Yeah, even better. Nice. Magic and dex. <laughs> That's about all you need, I guess. Um, oh. Ooh, wait. You can actually hit with the curve shot. That's perfect. Except you can't kill. You can kill a break shot, though. That works. Save anyone else from extra harm. Still alive. Perfect. I can deal. Um, I'm gonna need... Yeah, I'm gonna need to get her... Let's have her just do this, I guess. I'm gonna have to get, have to. She's gonna have to get an antitoxin out of the convoy. So, yeah, we'll just we'll, we'll have Felix move on then. Okay. Ooh, that archer. Oh, he's on the ballista. Right. Okay. So, it's time for Leone to go on up. Well, you don't need to use a concoction quite yet. You'll be fine. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let that guy come to Claude. And Claude should be able to obliterate him. Uh, I think Claude's the only one having moved, so we'll wait. Okay. Didn't kill, but you did plenty enough for now. Yeah, and she dodges anyway. I just want her to go take on that guy, so we'll, we'll deal with that. 
Okay, you can go and finish this guy off here. Likely. Yep. Beautiful. Make a difference. That's my girl. Oh, yep. She Every master paladin. Ooh, Aegis. Me of all people. Really. Well, you've been you've been screwed this entire playthrough. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Um, I need. You're gonna need to come back. You're gonna need to grab a chest key from me. I actually did get one from the. Uh, what do you call it? Let me see. Uh, let me go to the convoy here. I got one from. What what is that thing called? Like the the amiibo thing. I also should have traded with Ignots. So that was a mistake. And I can't even warp. I can't warp because I put myself in a bed spot. No, you're gonna you're gonna get the antitoxin from me. You're good. Nope. Or right, you're gonna get the antitoxin from the convoy. Cool. Uh, we'll have you come down here and heal Hilda. So let Marion take out the other guy. Go for Blizzard, I suppose. Why not? Goddess, forgive me. Doesn't matter too much. Kick ass, Marianne. Let's go. Okay. Now we're forward. Okay, we'll have you just physic somebody up. Why not quad? Thanks for that. Actually, we'll let we'll let Felix take this guy out because Felix is you haven't earned my lower level. Actually, I can move you kind of anywhere. I'll move you there instead. Maybe I can get. Bring some of the other units to him. God, they keep spawning over there. I think I need to defeat this general up here. Which is normally Ferdinand. If he's not recruited. Which, for me, he was. Alright, I'm gonna move. Alright, we'll go for training bell. Just do damage. Okay, that guy, that would. It's fine. Get out of here. All right. Next. Send the training boat. My oh god, is lagging a little bit. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to warp you up here so you can give Leone the chest key and then I'm gonna probably have you help Leone out okay give me that chest key for this steel lance for now and get that back later I mean I guess at that point I should have just let Ignatz do it but it's okay it's okay. Move you up. You can heal up. Raphael. She is mad. Oh, Bo well, I guess, eh, Bow Raker. It wasn't that necessary. I'm not even sure if I can, I would equip that on her. Part of me, I'm gonna keep you here, just in case. Trade me the killer bow. That's right. I could have backed out and let Leone Canto up to the chest, but it's fine. Um, we'll be good. I just, I'm gonna have, yeah, like, Hilda and Claude go up and, with Leone, the big three. Three of the big four, actually. Um, and go... Take that on. It's just a crit ring. Are you see that was not even worth it? Honest to God, it wasn't even worth it because I had that. 
I already have like four of those. <laughs> okay. Before I do anything, I want you to physic up Leone before I put her in anywhere in any sort of harm's way. Come up here. I don't know what you're doing. You have a javelin. Okay. Well, we'll handle it. It's okay. I actually, I said it was Ferdinand. Was it Ferdinand in one? I feel like it was Ferdinand one of the times and Lauren's another one of the times. It's fine. Cool. And I love I love his seal strength. I should I have seal strength. I should have used it's okay. Should have used it on the middle guy. Because literally that would have been perfect. Okay, I want you to help. I'm gonna have these three guys front line probably. Because these guys are good. And you too, because you can easily come and help and be very, very good. Does anyone need a physic? I guess me. That wouldn't hurt. Well done. I'm actually really glad Raphael doesn't take take him out, so that means he can't cancel away. Well done. Who's next? That's okay. And okay, that's where that's where ourselves with the Imperial soldiers too. Thanks for making your way here. Annihilate the enemy with the rest of them. That would be where that would be where Lawrence comes in. And you guys get to move first turn? I don't like that. That seems a bit cheap. meant to be okay all right use that on this guy this this one would be Ferdinand this one is Lawrence that could be useful I might wait I, I just wanted to heal Claude, if we're being totally honest. Okay. Claude, can you, by chance, one-shot this guy? No. Can you, like, with Diamond Axe? I'm surprised you don't have any, like, crit chance with Diamond Axe. It's kind of wild. Alright. Can you attack from here? You can't have fail not. Yeah, I think that's worth it to kill the boss. Okay. Now, you come here. If you take out this guy... Can you... Actually, can you come right here instead? I think that's a small, less movement, so maybe she can get out of the way a little more. Sorry, but it's you or me. Oh my god, that freaked out. Okay, if you take out this guy, then we're good. Perfect. Make a difference. Yes, the crit actually didn't, but you made a difference. So. A predictable success. <laughs> yes, that's exactly how I see it. Okay. Um, now let's go and heal Leon. So nice of you. Did you change targets? We're still both going for her, that's fine. Perfect. Alright, things are work coming up Millhouse right now. This is nice. Okay. Alright. 
I do want to draw you to me. I want to be able to start taking you out. So get your butt over here. Let's go! You're damn right you will destroy him. You did. Bosses are down. Situational awareness. Hey, let's go. If you get that reference. Then nothing. It's just you get that reference and it's cool. Okay, soul tree. Why not from Raphael? Raphael's literally there too. I guess I could have, like, Felix come down and attack that. But it's like, yeah. We'll just kill the health bar. We'll deal with the rest after. A plus in reason, very good. really want to try that if I'm being totally honest. I want to try for that that massive 36 crit. Oh, that would be lot as lava. Ooh, I'm a bit terrified of that. I guess I can attack you here. This this could work. Let's fucking go. You are the goddamn bomb, Felix. I fucking I love you, dude. Let's go. Annette also leveled up. I can't stop now. Not bad. Part of me wants to go for that again. Because, what, 29 times 3, quick mass, that's like 81? Would you even die? I don't think it would. That's not 81. 87. So it'd be, he'd be literally like 3 health from death. That sucks. Okay, you're not actually even killing him. Suffice. Okay. Alright, you come up here. Maybe you can finish this guy off here for us. No. Maybe Hilda can. Yes. Unluckily, she got hit. You're good. Don't worry. I, we got Marianne still here to heal you up, so you'll be fine. Make a difference. Lauren's up at level 29. Good, but not enough. It's not good. You get. You're so freaking screwed on both strength and goddamn magic, man. What's coming for her? Sword guy or er, lance guy I can deal with that. No worries whatsoever. Alright. Oh, nice. Beautiful. I think we're good. Let's alright, next turn. Next turn. 
Okay. It helps that I use my uh, heal right before this. Everybody got hit. Dude, that's so unlucky. <laughs> no joke. Is it that is incredibly unlucky. Oh, how, how much does yours affect? Six in front of you. Lenhart's up to level 31. Perfect. Eh. But it heals everyone else up, so we're good. Do you have any crit chance of anything? No, he has all his shields back. That would be why. But Seraphim does a shit ton. And we'll let Felix do it. Demonic Beast dead. You're damn right he's relentless. He's the boy. I think it's a lot of lava going for him now. Oh, what? Well, fuck me. Why do you... You have an attack of 58. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. You have 58. Oh, his defense is lowered. I was about to say, I'm like, wait, that doesn't even make any sense. That stinks, okay. Can I take the blunt? The blunt brunt of the, your attack or something? No, because I will draw literally attacks from literally everybody else. I mean, I suppose it's a good thing we get her near us, so I'm going to literally heal up Raphael and hope we get lucky. <laughs> I didn't even kill him, man. Alright, you come up here, finish that guy off then. I won, didn't I? Yes, yes, you did. Shall we? Okay, if I can just draw a couple of you guys to me, that'd be awesome. I can give you, you can go for like curve shot. Yeah, 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 don't do much or anything. I'm just gonna move you closer. I won't worry about doing any combat arts right now. I guess he couldn't have hit, hit her anyway. <gasps> but it's all good. We could we could go for ashes and dust here actually. Well, I'm not... Here, just go for... How much you do with, like, diamond decks? Not enough. Okay. I think... I think Ashes and Dust is a good time. Good time for a secret scheme. I actually want you to back out a bit. Because I have you holding fucking fail not. I forgot. To repay Her Majesty's favor, I will not let you pass. Come on, you have a good chance to dodge one of them. Thank you. Okay. Hey, dodge both. Even fucking better. Beautiful. Hilda takes out that guy. Hilda's up 35. Yep, I'm stronger now. Yeah, pretty damn decent. That helps. Sure. Too easy. That is exactly what I didn't want to happen. So while he does a shit ton of damage to him. Good fuel. Ooh, he's up to A. I just didn't want him using Fail Not, and I forgot that was the last weapon I literally had him use, and it's unfortunate. So. How much are you literally gonna 
my god, you're such a fucking nuke, it is absurd! Uh... I can't retreat. Even if it costs me my life, I've got to protect the Great Bridge. I'm sorry, that will spell your death though, however. I might be able to heal him up. What if I were to attack with the iron bow on this guy? Oh my god. I feel like you do so much damage. That is ridiculous. Okay. Could I take out this guy? The creator sort of could. Fire does a hell of a lot. Thunder. Alright, Thunder does the trick. I am confident that Raphael can take I out a lot of lava. Them well. Yep. Lady Edelgard! I'm sorry. Level 35 for Raphael. I think he's probably gonna end up with MVP. I'm glad we defeated them here. I doubt they're an enemy we could win against twice. Oh, right. It's not a route map. We're good. Very good. I'll take that. Hilda gets MVP? Okay. I mean, Hilda did a fuck ton. That is for damn sure. Well done, everyone. The Great Bridge of Muradin is ours. I was prepared for bloodshed, but that was more than expected. I guess I'm still not used to this. Even our enemies were fighting for their own cause. They held out without fleeing until the bitter end. We must overcome this. Yes, we can't afford to stall here. Now it's on me to return to Alliance territory and convince those lords to join us. Lawrence, would you return home for the time being and lay the groundwork with your father? Fine. After all, this is for the Alliance. Or rather, for all of Fodlan. For those of you who live in Alliance territories, I ask that you return to your houses and spread the word about the current situation. Until we finish our preparations, Judith and the Knights will do everything in their power to defend the Great Bridge. <laughs> That's a casual way to dole out such a deadly mission, boy. Do you object? Just who do you think I am? I won't let the Empire pass this way, even if it costs me my life. Too bad you're not allowed to die. Fight like your life depends on it, but flee if you're ever truly in danger. A tall order, as always. <laughs> I'll use my best discretion, Claude. We have no objections either. Go forth and secure us a sufficiently powerful army. I'll stay here too. The only ones I'd be going home to are my little sis and my grandpa. Are you sure you don't want to see your sister? It may be a while before you can return home again. But if I see her, I may not want to come back. So I'll wait till I'm done here. I'll stay here too. Actually, I'd like for you to come with me, Teach, to help negotiate with the Lords. They're followers of the Church of Seros, after all. It'll make things easier if we have someone there to speak on Rhea's behalf. All right, everyone, let's meet back at the monastery next month. Good luck out there. Is that you, kiddo? <clears throat> I have returned, Nardell. That's his dad. That makes sense. Really, that does make sense. I wonder who his mother is. If it is Judith, I doubt it. Because it sounds like that his 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 mother didn't stay in the alliance. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm right. We'll see. Makes me sad that we like killed him and that did we did he die in that paralog we fought him or, or I still don't remember his main story or not. Anyway, I guess it doesn't matter. Ah, Master Claude, it's you. I mistook you for one of the local children. My apologies. He's like Elmira and Gerald. <laughs> he looks kind of like Gerald. <laughs> it seems you have adjusted to your work here. Our recent strategy was successful thanks to you. I was a bit concerned when House Goneril's army intervened from the east. Count Gloucester must have requested reinforcements from them. Yes, and they have that young general who won some acclaim from his battles in Almyra. 
Regardless, they showed no signs of seriously wishing to attack us and merely fulfilled their obligations to House Gloucester. Now then, who is this handsome fella? This is my professor, who I asked to join me at the roundtable conference. Teach, this is Nardell, that retainer Judith was talking about. Nice to meet you. Hmm, how polite. I've heard good things about you from Master Claude. As you can see, he wasn't born in Fodlan. Still, trust me when I say he is highly capable. True! In fact, my capability is my only redeeming quality. I like this guy. I hope you'll continue to look after Master Claude, Professor. Part 2. Verdant Wind. Great Tree Moon. Blood of the Eagle and Lion. Now in control of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Alliance Army invades the Imperial territories. In response, the Imperial Army garrisons soldiers at Fort Mercius. All right, something's happening here. All of that went about as well as it could have. Each Lord has agreed to provide us with soldiers and supplies. I'm impressed you were able to convince all of those scattered nobles to help us. I thought they would quarrel about how much support they should each provide. That's what they usually do. Well, Count Gloucester took the initiative in taking on responsibilities. I presume that was because you spoke with him in advance, Lawrence. I merely explained the situation at hand, and my father simply followed your lead, Claude. It was because you had the professor there to represent Lady Rhea. My father is a pious follower of the Church of Seros. I don't doubt it. I wasn't under the delusion that it was my personal charm that unified everyone. Thanks for that, by the way. I hope you don't feel like I used you, because I sort of used you. Uh, I'm not well pleased. <laughs> don't mention it. I appreciate that. We don't have time to be picky about our methods. But be honest, you're having a hard time adjusting to your new role, aren't you? You weren't even a follower of Seros to begin with. And somehow you've ended up as a representative of the church. I am so this. I realize that you might feel guilty about deceiving the believers for our cause. Well. But this is just what the Archbishop wanted. She's the highest authority in the church. Besides, as wielder of the sword of the creator, it's undeniable that you're special. I think you should be more confident in yourself and use your position to the fullest. I have a report from our spies. The enemy is currently gathering troops at Fort Mercius. Based on the size of their army, they must be under the command of a renowned general. Or even... Edelgard. Well now, that would be interesting. If we can defeat the Emperor, then the Empire will collapse. There's something else. An unidentified army has approached the Great Bridge of Murden. They pass through the Daphnil and Gloucester territories from the northwest with incredible speed. They're raising the banner of House Blathid. Perhaps they are the remnants of the Fargus royal family. From what we could tell, they posed no threat to the citizens of the Alliance, and so we refrained from engaging them in needless combat. Maybe they hoped to fight against the Empire to avenge their fallen prince. And what about the bridge itself? Obviously, we wouldn't let them pass without receiving envoys first. We thought they may try to force their way through. We considered firing warning arrows, but they left immediately, heading east. Are they intending to use one of the bridges in Ordelia territory? Most likely, but the Imperial Army still controls those bridges. I can't imagine what they intend to do in the Empire, even if they do manage to break through. I'm reluctant to ease up on our surveillance, but it would be difficult to track them there. For now, let's assume they're just troops belonging to the Old Kingdom. In any case, we should proceed with caution. Soon we'll be entering Empire territory ourselves, if our enemies are going to intercept us with an attack, it will probably be at Grander Field. How fitting that it was the site of the Battle of the Eagle and Lion five years ago. Alrighty, guys, I'm... What? Silk Dragon Armor and obtain certification for the Barbarossa class. Barbarossa. I've still got some hidden potential. Whoa! Bro! I 
can't look down. Look at you! That is such- Okay. Okay. That's fucking badass. Not gonna lie. I think that's the art that he's wearing in his actual, like, heroes. I think that's the armor he's wearing in heroes, maybe? I'll try to put my, the picture of my- if I remember my Claude from heroes up there. Damn. But I think he is like a brown wyvern. Very, very cool. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Do like especially in the next episode, we do have another paralogue. Uh, what is the paralogue this time? The Sleeping Sand Legend. That's a brand new one. These are both brand new ones. So we'll do one of them and uh, uh, in the next episode at least. And then I'll probably do that other battle. And then we'll do the next paralogue battle after this next mission. So cool stuff. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Do like appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you all later. Thank you.